What is good? We're back. That sign. That's what's good. We've done. Shout out to Big D. Uh, we've done uh, the running backs. We've done the wide receivers. Now we're going to hit the tight ends real quick. This one will be a little shorter because uh, those aren't as plentiful. Uh, but basically, and nobody cares. Today we are hitting you with kind of a my guys, the targets and startups, the trade targets, the sleepers. However you want to spin it and put it together at the end of the day there is not that different from each other we could make a bunch of different videos and just compile a list but as we wind down dynasty startup offseason trade target season or whatever uh we just wanted to bring you these guys after we've done a bunch of regular mocks and startups that we've been kind of targeting and how we see fit and hey do do whatever you want with this information but you know, throw them out here not going to be a whole bunch of uh in-depth analysis just uh who we've been liking and and our and our kind of guys that we're we're targeting for trades or in startups. So, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, like, comment below. Tell us your guys on any of these videos if you're watching. Like I said, there's other there's the other positions to go after as well. He's Jason. I'm Casey. We're the FF Dynasty. We're a leg short of the tripod, so we got a bipod for you. Um, you can go over to patreon.com, support the team, uh, $5 holler. There's plenty of other stuff over there, as well as the start of some rankings and such and some tiers. If you've been listening to all that continuation of tier talks, um, and we'll be doing some startup talks that, that we're getting into and some rookie drafts that we'll be getting into all that good stuff over there. So be sure to check that out. Support your boys. Go to revelrybrewingco.com to get you a fancy t-shirt and you can send your boy over here screenshots of all of your five-star reviews to try to enter into a raffle for a free tea. Yeah. Hey, send me multiple ones. I'll put your name in multiple times. How about that? <laughs> Fuck it. So you can hit them up anywhere that we're Spotify, available. Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube is primarily what we're looking for. But if you find a five-star review on a different platform, I'll take it. At the FF, G, uh, the FF Dynasty at gmail.com or FF Dynasty on Twitter or Instagram, Instagram or Twitter, whatever. I'll even check Facebook before the before I do the final drawing because so, I, I just stay off Facebook. It fucking sucks. <laughs> It's for your grandparents. All right. Yeah. Once my mom got on Facebook, I'm like, I'm fucking done. I'm out of here. <laughs> right, anyway, tight ends, here. tight ends. Yeah. So everyone always puts a D. It's a tight. It's tight ends. <laughs> all right. So we all know that we like, you know, to make sure that you get. Kyle Pitts, that, target number right. one, right? <laughs> we all know that you like to try to get Schultz and Goddard before the tight ends dry out. That's we kind of do. The, I don't know if they I, do. It's I worth think, mentioning. I think that's most, most people at this point. So Reach up a little bit. Those, are the, those are the guys. And if then he after, didn't get Pitts or After Andrews. those guys go, um, you know, you got your Fryer Moose and, you know. But after that, for me, uh, the guys that I'd start targeting from there are Komet and Fant. Does um, Gusecki not make the list? He's he's uh he could he could certainly make ADP the list. ADP one twelve. He could certainly be on the list if you want to throw him on there. I mean, I don't not not targeting him. He's not necessarily as fun. It's like as ninth he once round. Was. He hangs. He does hang. He's, he's got he's the, got the he's wide got receiver the tag. upside. He's got the tag. A bunch of weapons around him. Right. Two of them seem to like him. Could could yeah he did and it could could end up being caught up in the wash but I mean could be awesome I'm I'm more tar more towards Komet being the wide receiver two for the Bears you'd rather have Komet than Gasecki yeah for sure for sure and then I'd and then I would probably wait a little bit and target Fant Komet's another ten Komet's ten rounds later than Gasecki it so, can't be ten rounds sorry later. ten <laughs> picks ten picks uh, Gasecki's yeah. one twelve Cole Komet according to Sleeper Superflex Dynasty ADP. Cole commits 122, so that's 10 yeah. picks later. Excuse so then I would, I'd probably wait a little bit, and then Fant will be my next target. Fant's 127, so just five picks yeah. after commit. I like the the freakish nature and the maybe I don't you know it's a little more ugly over there, but big big always been a Fant guy, haven't quit him yet, so in there. But you know Kaseki not not the bad call. So after that though, this is gonna be a lot shorter of a list here. So Cole Komet, though, but that's one we're getting as a second. Even if you took one of the other guys, yeah. still taking Komet. For sure. And probably a good trade target. Yeah, I love I love drafting Komet as my second, and if, if I don't have one, as my first. Uh, so especially in tight end premium, which is pretty much all I play. So I'm living in that world. Got to, man. Come on. Why are you not playing tight end premium, man? G grow up. Get into the 21st century. <laughs> Everybody's go. doing it. We're streaking through the quad. 
with the tight end premium. Come on. So here's the list of Ugh. other other tight end targets for me uh, that are. You're just like scared to change. That's what you. That's what you are if you don't play tight end premium. You're 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 your, you're your parents. You're in that fucking progressive commercial where it's no cussing, no fussing. He throws that shit in the garbage. Get rid of this shit. <laughs> play tight end premium. That's the point. So. These would be the other guys that I'd been targeting throughout uh, drafts here. Back to um, the targets. And, you know, they, they're rounds uh, below where we were just kind of talking about. And they're, you know, not necessarily guys I'm relying on, but guys that I want to take shots on. Um, I love taking Austin Hooper. So first and foremost. That's a cheap one. Not leaving very many drafts and a trade target for me of grabbing Austin Hooper. There's just ADP a pecking order. There's just a pecking order there that isn't, isn't you know, very Ooh, set in stone. Who is it? Um, so, you know, I think Hooper could get on there and there's kind of a little post-hype sleep. As they like the kids like to say, um, so I like I've been targeting Hooper everywhere. There's probably not too many drafts that go through that we do that I don't get him in. Really like that. I know Evan Ingram's a little earlier than Hooper, and people you know ADP 180 video today of him dropping a rep in practice. Which oh, listen, he, he is definitely going to drop he's, reps. He's he's got he's got he's got the he doesn't have the best hands. They're stony. They're stony. They are stony. He's. Re- again, we talked about this in another video. He's, also, a Liz Frank injury. He's history. really cheap and he's super explosive. Busted out as a rookie, and then we haven't quite seen it. But there are there is a path to targets over here, um, and you know it's Christian Kirk, it's it's Marv, uh, it's Zay Jones, it's Visca. But you know Ingram could carve himself out a nice little role here um, and be a huge mismatch for the team and be really important for them if if he can you know. Just reel in what he's supposed to reel in. Uh, on a one-year deal, trying to get paid. So Ingram, another decent one-year deal, though I feel like yeah. six to eight million dollars. Like not a not a cheap ass one-year deal. No. And I've been going back watching a lot of Jags because I'm trying to get behind my boy Trevor. Go Tigers! And they he likes throwing it to the tight end. You know, I don't know if that's just the system they were running last year, but like there was a lot of third down drops by the fucking tight end, which. Doesn't make me feel it's like Ingram's gonna come in and do that same shit, probably, but like there is just a ceiling there that he still could reach and it it there's 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 opportunity in Jacksonville for sure. And and Trevor's down to throw it to the tight end from what I've seen. And Dan Arnold still is there. He got hurt at the end of last season, he got traded like mid season, came in, had an immediate impact. Yeah. Then got hurt, so he's still there. That could yeah. be, you know, could you be could an even cheaper free. Take him for fucking free. For free, yeah. It's probably sure. not even on this ADP list. But Ingram is the guy they paid. They want to get him involved. He's he does have a ceiling and and could if he can just if he could just cat. He's like the Lavisca Chenault of tight ends. He's just like, Bleh. yeah. But if he could just catch it, then it, it could be gold. And and he's pretty cheap. He's ADP one eighty. So that's that's uh, one eighty divided by twelve. 15th round right you can get yeah. your third tight end pretty cheap there or second you or know fourth yeah. um you know hunter henry might be a sneaky guy that could make this list he's had he's had some nice run here or there uh, but gerald everett would be the next guy on the on the list for me just again great athleticism has never completely fully broken out um and he's on the chargers and you know i was a big Par him for free kind of guy hoping for that breakout not not necessarily quitting that but uh you know bad injury at the end of last year for Parham um and Gerald Everett coming in uh on that on that team and could carve himself out Jared Cook was doing his best to be relevant and he's gone and old as fuck so like right. if we can get Gerald who was pretty good for the Rams like uh, for the Seahawks last year right Seahawks right and some spots yeah definitely filled in for us in a league that, that helped us helped us get to the finish line in right. a traffic right for sure. League. for sure then Kyle Rudolph obviously just got a bump up before you get too far down here I gotta yeah. I gotta before people already tuned out on the average view duration because why didn't you say Njoku's name that would be like my biggest sure. one man I, the biggest target he, 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 David he, Njoku he ends up going s- sort of earlier he's after commit he is after commit but I ADP mean ADP 159 if you're yeah. gonna throw commit I want Joku too oh it, those guys aren't even in the same conversation for me not even um, in the same mm-hmm. conversation no sir not for me Give not me, for me. Give me in Joku. I like Joku. I'll take Joku. Chief and Joku just, came into the league as like a twenty year old dude, finally like coming of age. Just got yeah. a ridiculous no, there's, contract. There's so much to like about and him. Deshaun for sure. is definitely down to throw to the tight for sure. end. 
I was. I would just hope that he would be a little later. Um, he got paid. Eleventh, twelfth round. I mean, not not the not the worst, uh, but not the best. Um, just thirteenth round, uh, according to the sleeper ADP. Yeah, he's twelve, twelve here. He, sometimes yeah. he goes a little earlier than that in in some of these drafts. Yeah, you could throw a Joko on the list. That's got fine with to. me. Um, not it. not a guy that I've touched anywhere. I've just there's. I'd rather have David I'll Bell touch him. Um, on that team, give me David Bell, and he's around that same area, so that's probably going to prevent me from getting Joku. Um, but that's not what we're doing here. You could talk about Joku, fine with that. He could really break out, or you could just grab Harrison Bryant, super cheap, super late. Um, maybe he's the guy who breaks out for that team. Uh, but there's a lot to like with Joku. Uh, but Kyle Rudolph just signed with the with the Bucks, so you know, obviously he's going to be a, a, on everybody's tip of everybody's tongue. Um, and then he just had the blurb of getting all Gronks. You know, stuff. So people hate Rudolph. Though, so I don't even think they'll care that um, he's getting but, the love right you know, now. So, so Kyle's going to probably shoot up uh, some boards a little bit, being tied to Tommy and Tampa and and in the Gronk shadow. So, um, and then Robert Tunyon, uh, just mainly just to be on that Packers offense without like a surefire pass catching guy on there. He's coming off an injury. You know, late late round draft pick. Uh, might not even be ready quite for week one, but just a stab in the dark. And then the last but not least is a rookie in this case, which we haven't been doing too many rookies on this, has been mostly veterans. It's Isaiah Likely. He's just so cheap. He's not like these other rookies that we would be talking about up in the mix here, but I'm, I'm not leaving a single draft without Isaiah Likely. Um, and, and a rookie draft, like so you don't even have to draft them in a lot of cases. You can just spend that first round of fab on them and pick them up for cheap. There has been a couple positive blurbs if you go through there and click click around, but nothing groundbreaking that would really set alert anybody who isn't a likely uh, fanatic. Uh, but yeah, you could also throw Irv Smith on that list if you're going to throw Njoko on that list. They're probably not terribly far away from each other, at least. Irv Smith is 145, so that's uh, about a full round, a little more than a round ahead of Njoku. Yeah. Give me Njoku. Yeah, but, I mean, but if the Vikings gonna, didn't do shit at yeah. the tight end position. Right. You know, they shipped right. off Conklin, who, right. had, who played well for them. Right. Didn't ship him off, but they didn't sign him. And Conklin's over with the Jets, I believe. Yeah, they got Conklin, Uzama, and a rookie over there. So they're trying to figure out something over they, there. They got to figure out something. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, the 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 Vikings are kind of telling you that there was a ton of hype on Irv before last year, and didn't he didn't even get a chance to play? I don't think at all last year. I think he yeah. got hurt before the season started. So, I'm not that. I, I I'm usually I haven't taken him a single time, but I, I could be wrong. I could definitely be missing out on Irv Smith and then missing the wave. Yeah, I've I've had the stance on Irv that I probably probably miss it and then pay up for him because I did like him. But you know, I think if you're kind of going through the progression of tight ends, if you if you don't want if you don't want the Komet Gasecki area and you want to pass on Zach Ertz, then you could come in and you could be in the Noah Fant. Uh, Irv Smith, Joku kind of territory to target one of those guys to maybe be your second uh, tight end. And then you could kind of even get a little further and be in the Evan Ingram, Hooper, Everett sweepstakes and then go a little further, be in the Big Bobby T uh, kind of sweepstakes. I don't know where Kyle Rudolph will end up. And then, you know, likely uh, super duper cheap. And then Bellinger, another rookie for the Giants who is apparently leading uh, for their first team reps. So. That's, That's what we got. That's some tight end action. Obviously, you know, I have no problem taking Trey McBride because he's an awesome, fun rookie, but that's not what we're talking about here. Um, so let's go. All right. Well, we appreciate that I y'all. every tight end. For joining but. us. <laughs> we'll take all the tight ends. I mean, just get one where you can. Well, I'll give you a nice little breakdown of through the rounds there at the end. So got a list we brought it you know yeah didn't even want to do the tight ends but did it anyway Eh, fuck around (laughs) yeah let's go get you a little list get you a tight end early get you a tight end in the middle and get you a bunch of them late that's kind of how i like to play it so appreciate y'all like review subscribe all those good things revelrybrewco.com for a t hook your boys up Support the team. Send me that screenshot. I'll give you. I'll send out a free one. Everybody likes free shit. Mm. Doesn't matter what it is. We can give away stickers, frisbees, fucking pooper scoopers. It's free. I'm in. Get your butt Pens. scratcher. Yeah. <laughs> we should get some stickers. Yeah, I, I need to inquire. Yeah. Let's just stick that shit in. Right? <laughs> <laughs>
We need like a QR code is what we need. Sticker in it. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right. We'll catch you next time. We appreciate y'all. See you on the redraft side here soon. So, peace.